In previous videos, we used the HackRF to capture packets from our Chinese diesel heater. These we'll use to program in an Arduino to hook to our Home Assistant. That way we can automate the heater from our Home Assistant and control it anytime, anywhere. Okay, I've now resorted to the software defined radio and RTL433 to try and figure this thing out. Uh, the pairing is different than what it expects, so with with this, I was able to capture a packet, actually lots of them. This one isn't it. Where it says no clue, no clue, no clue, that's something else. There we go. This one was a good one. So we've got all the pulse info, and I'll pull up the website in a second. Attempting to demod it. FSK, so that that backs up what the registers were set to. They were set to uh, GFSK, I believe. Um, bit buffer, we've got a whole bunch of five fives, and then what looks like valid data after that. And if we go down to one of the other ones that was successful that caught this, maybe we'll just grab another one live. There's another one, same thing, 55555, five, 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 and then the same data. So that's what the remote is. I forget what button I pressed, but um, that 5555 five, five, five might be the address of the remote, and the other one might be the data. So if we try this, now if we try the power button, we should get a whole bunch of goodies. Stop that. There's the same five 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 zero 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 on the end. That data looks different. So zero 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 on the end. That was the power button. Let's try the OK button. And that's the OK button. And I tried the demodulation that RTL four thirty three told me and. It's said to do these ones up here, FSK, blah, 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 and we get those same digits, the same codes, length 156. So it's super, super repeatable. These are definitely valid. I just need to figure out how to utilize it. This is the first light at the end of the tunnel. This is the power button that the library thinks is defined as power button. And this is RTL 433. So we've got a preamble, two hex values, and our value that came from the remote. And I'm not sure about the rest. I'll have to go digging and see what they maybe mean in this tail here something something error correction maybe but it matches so these values might be real and all i need to do is get the 433 transmitter to wake up and this library might work the checks out how cool is that if you're a maker or electronics enthusiast make sure you check out pcb way they can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. Well, holy shit. <laughs> I have been at this. It's now Monday night, and uh, I got done work, made supper, and jumped right into this. I worked on it all weekend, and I could not get to this point. I ended up hacking up some old commits that the original author made hacking up the original library and I'm finally getting bursts. So right now the radio is sending to the diesel heater a uh, wake up command, uh, just wake up and talk to me. And that's what it should do. That is what the remote would do. And here, if you hit the, hit the remote, you'll see what a remote chirp looks like. 
And then you'll see the 433 radio is just splattering the whole band, and that's to be expected. They look a little close together. I think the interval is wrong, and I think there's lots I could do, but I think we can get this to talk to the heater now. Holy crap, that, that sucked. The I had to use code like nine commits old in the author's repo, uh, I should have just used a new library. I, I really should have. I should have just rewrote this with a new library. It would have been way, way easier. But I was stubborn. <laughs> it works.